Hello Cambridge class. This week we're going to have another look at perimeter. We're going to do a few lessons on how to measure and how to calculate perimeter. Remember, just like last time, you're going to need a piece of paper and a pencil and you're going to look out for any mistakes. Well done to the children who spotted last time's mistakes. Well done. Pause the video and go and get yourself something to write with. OK, so this week we're going to look at perimeter. Now, if you remember, we looked at math antics last time when we looked at um, rounding numbers. I'm going to listen to what it has to say about perimeter. We get it. You don't really want your away. kids watching videos, but it can have... Hi, welcome to Math Antics. In this lesson, we're going to learn about an important concept in geometry called perimeter. Perimeter is just a fancy math term that means the distance or length around a shape. But what exactly does the distance around a shape mean? Well, distance or length is a one-dimensional quantity that we can measure with units like centimeters, inches, or miles. That means that perimeter is also a one-dimensional quantity that we can measure with units of length. For example, the perimeter of a shape wouldn't be just 10, but it could be 10 centimeters. Or instead of being just 25, it could be 25 miles. The units are really important when you're talking about perimeter. Okay, but what exactly do we mean by around a shape? It seems like there would be a lot of different ways to go around a shape. Some of them would be short, and some of them would be very long. Well, perimeter means the absolute shortest distance possible around a shape. That would be the distance you'd get if you trace the path exactly around the border or edge of a shape. A good way to see what perimeter is, is to imagine that you could walk right along the edge of a shape, like this five-sided polygon. Imagine starting at one of the polygon's vertices, and then walking along each side until you got all the way back to the point that you started from. The total distance you traveled would be the perimeter of that shape. In this case, if the length of each side of the polygon was 10 meters, the total length you would travel along all five sides would add up to 50 meters. Another good way to see what perimeter is, is to imagine that you could take a shape, like this square, and break it at one of its corners. Then you could unfold the shape until it formed a straight line. The length of that line is the perimeter of the shape. Doing this helps you understand why perimeter is a one-dimensional quantity, even though it applies to two-dimensional shapes like this square. It's one-dimensional because it's the distance of the lines that go around the two-dimensional shape. Okay, so now that you know what perimeter is, how do we measure or calculate it for different geometric shapes? Well, that depends on the shapes. Finding the perimeter of shapes that have curves, like circles or hearts or things like that, can be tricky. In fact, we'll wait and talk about the perimeter of a circle in another video. In this video, we're just going to focus on how to find the perimeter of polygons. Since polygons are made from only straight sides, it's easy to find their perimeter. If you know the length of each side, all you have to do is add them up, and the total length you end up with is the perimeter of the polygon. Let's try doing that with a few examples so you see how it works. The first polygon we'll try is a triangle. This triangle has three sides that are each a different length. 3 centimeters, 4 centimeters, and 5 centimeters. Now, to find the perimeter of the triangle, all we have to do is add up the lengths of those three sides. 3 plus 4 plus 5 equals 12. But, don't forget, it's not just 12, it's 12 centimeters. Always remember to also put down the units of the perimeter. Okay, that was easy. Let's try another one. This time our polygon is a rectangle, and you can see that the shorter sides are each 5 meters long, and the longer sides are each 10 meters long. So, let's add them all up. We can add up the sides in any order we want to, as long as we don't forget any sides or accidentally count any of them twice. And I think I'll add up the two short sides first. 5 plus 5 equals 10. Next, I'll add up the two longer sides. 10 plus 10 equals 20. And now, if I add up those two answers, I'll get the total for all four sides. 
10 plus 20 equals 30. So the perimeter of this rectangle is 30. Meters. <laughs> you thought I was going to forget my units, didn't you? Okay, we're going to leave that there. Just to remind us what we're talking about when we're talking about perimeter. So we're going to have a little go at some perimeter questions. Here's the first one. We've got a rectangle here and its long sides measure 15 metres and its short sides measure 6 metres. Now, I haven't got the measurements on these two sides, but I've already told you it's a rectangle. So our first job is to work out what do we know about a rectangle. And we should be able to remember that these sides, opposite sides, are the same length. So if this side is 15 metres long, this side will also be 15 metres long. And if this side here is 6 metres long, this side over here is also 6 metres in length. So now I've been able to work out the length of each of the sides. I can do a short calculation to work out the perimeter. I need to add 15 metres and 15 metres, which comes to 30 metres. And I also need to add 6 metres and 6 metres, which comes to 12 metres. And then, of course, I need to add those two bits together. So I need to add the 30 metres and the 12 metres. And that comes to 42 metres. So the perimeter of my shape is 42 metres. Now, some people might be able to work out that actually, there's probably a quick way of doing this. I could say 15 metres, add 6 metres, those are the measurements I know, and that comes to 21 metres, and then I just need to double it because I've got the same distance one more time. So 21 times 2 comes to 42 metres. When we're dealing with regular shapes like a rectangle where the opposite sides are equal in length, we can use this shorter method to work out the perimeter, but it's okay to use this longer method. So let's have a look at another shape. Okay, so I'm letting you know that this is a rectangle. And what do we know about a rectangle? We know that opposite sides are equal in length. So you might be able to use that fact to help you. What is the perimeter of my shape, shape B? What is the perimeter? Pause the video and have a go. Okay, so hopefully you recognise that this opposite side is 12 centimetres and this side opposite to my this side here opposite to my eight centimetres is also worth eight centimetres. And so you could have said 12 centimetres add 12 centimetres equals 24 centimetres. That's one, one set. And then you could have said 8 centimetres add 8 centimetres equals 16 centimetres. And then, of course, we would need to add up our two answers. So 42 centimetres, 24 centimetres is this one added to this one. And 16 centimetres is this one added to this side. So when I add them up, I would add 24 and add it to the 16, which gives me 40 centimetres. So the perimeter my shape is 40 centimetres. Of course, you could have done it like this. You could have said 
12 centimetres added to 8 centimetres equals 20 centimetres. And then I need to double that answer because I have two more sides the same length. 10 centimetres times 2 equals 40 centimetres. This is a slightly quicker way. But this way is also OK. The perimeter, let's write a sentence. The perimeter of shape B. The perimeter of shape B is 40 centimetres. OK, let's try another one. You've got two shapes here now. In a minute, you're going to pause the video and work out the perimeter of each of the shapes. Pause the video and have a go. Okay, how did you get on? Let's just move this out of the way for now and look at this first one only. I know that this side is 22 centimetres and I know that this side, sorry, 22 metres and this side is 12 metres. Let's just pop them in to remind ourselves that that's the size of those, the length of those sides. 22 metres here and 12 metres here. And so I'm going to start off by doing 22 metres added to 22 metres equals 44 metres. And then I'm going to do 12 metres added to 12 metres equals 24 metres. And so the, the perimeter of shape A equals 68 metres. I've added together the 44 and the 24, 68 metres. OK, let's have a look at this side. All right, so I know that this length is 17 metres and this length is 13 metres. This time I'm going to use a short way to work it out. So I'm going to say 17 metres added to 13 metres equals 30 metres and then 30 metres times 2 equals 60 metres. And my sentence is the perimeter of shape B is 60, whoops, 60 metres. OK, so I hope you got both of those. Now, we're going to have a look at these shapes. Now, you can see that these shapes only have one measurement on them. If you look carefully at them, you'll recognise that both these shapes are squares. And so just like when we were doing rectangles, we said to ourselves, what do I know about the properties of a rectangle? We now need to do the same when we're looking at the squares. What do I know? I seem to have lost that slide. Let's see if I can find it. There we go. What do I know about the properties of a square? And yeah, we know that all the sides are the same length. So let's just concentrate on this square. I know that each one of these sides is the same length. So I know that each one of them is seven centimetres. So I can pop them in just so we can see them. Seven centimetres. So to work out the perimeter of this shape, I can say seven centimetres added to seven centimetres added to seven centimetres added to seven centimetres, added to seven centimetres equals 28 centimetres. So I know the perimeter of my shape is 28 centimetres. But of course, because this is a square and I'm adding the same amount every time, there's a quicker way of doing it. We could say seven centimetres 
four times, seven centimetres four times, which is 28 centimetres. That's our quick way of doing it. And we can do that multiplication because the shape is a regular shape. It is a square. So I've got another square here. Pause the video in a minute and see if you can work out the perimeter of my square. Pause the video and have a go. Okay, so I know it's a square, so all the sides are the same length. So I know that this side is 30 centimetres. And this side is 30 centimetres. And this side is 30 centimetres. So each of my sides is 30 centimetres long. And I could say 30 add 30 add 30 add 30. And that's okay to add them like that. 30 add 30 add 30 add 30. Or I could say it's 30 centimetres four times. 30 centimetres four times is 120 centimetres. Now we can use the same method when we're looking at a regular shape that's not a square. Let's look at this shape here. This shape is a pentagon. Just use that slide. This shape is a pentagon. It's got one, two, three, four, five sides and it's a regular pentagon so that means that all the sides are the same length so I can use the same method I know that each one of these sides is seven centimeters long and I can add that in sorry six centimeters long and I can add that in they're all six centimeters So pause the video and see if you can work out for me, what is the perimeter of my yellow pentagon? What's the perimeter of my pentagon? Pause the video and have a go. And that's right, the perimeter of my pentagon is six centimetres. And how many times have I got? One, two, three, four, five times five. Six centimetres times five. And that comes to 30 centimetres. Well done if you got that. OK, so have a little practice. I've got a shape here and I don't know the length of the sides, but I do know it's a regular pentagon. So there are five sides and all the sides are the same length. I know that when I measure all of the sides and add them all up together, it comes to 40 five centimetres. So how might we work out the perimeter of the pentagon? Pause the video and have a go. Okay, so hopefully you were able to recognise that each of my sides needs to be an equal part of 45. So in order to answer this we needed to do 45 centimetres divided by Five. So it's got to be an equal part of 45 centimetres and I've got to split it into five equal parts. 45 centimetres divided by five will give me nine centimetres. So the length of one side of my pentagon is nine centimetres. Really well done if you got that. Now we're going to use a similar method. You're going to work out the perimeter of each of my shapes. I've got a regular hexagon and I've got a regular octagon. Work out the perimeter of each of my shapes. Pause the video and have a go. How did you get on? Well we know that each of these sides is the same length and if one of them is four centimetres they're all four centimetres long. So they're each four centimetres long. And 
and I know that four centimetres added to four centimetres added to four centimetres and so on is four centimetres. It's four centimetres six times. And four centimetres six times gives us 24 centimetres. Now, each of these is seven, 70 centimetres. So I'm going to start off with that now. 70 centimetres. And it's a regular octagon, so all the sides are the same length. So 70 centimetres, how many times? Well, to help me to count, put the mark on here to help me with my counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sides. So it's 70 centimetres, eight times. And I know that seven times eight is 56. So 70 times 80 is 560 centimetres. And actually, as if I was to convert that to metres, it would be 5.6 metres. So well done if you got that. OK, so have a look at my pentagon here. Each of my pentagon sides is four centimetres. So on its own, the perimeter of my pentagon is 20 centimetres. We're going to use what we know about this being a regular pentagon, all the sides of the same length, and one side being four centimetres long. See if you can work out what's the perimeter of my shape. Pause the video and have a go. OK, so I can tell you the perimeter of the shape. The perimeter of this first shape here, I'll pop it in here, is 20 centimetres. That's the perimeter of my first shape here. It's 20 centimetres. And I can tell you the perimeter of my second shape is not 60 centimetres. Now, I wonder if you can work out why it's not 60 centimetres. That's right. We're only counting the distance around the outside. So we're only going for the distance around the outside of the shape. So there are some lines that we just are not going to count. There's my distance around the outside. And that's what we're going to be calculating, the distance around the outside. So there are some lines, and let's get rid of them, there are some lines that we're absolutely not going to include. So let's lose them. We're not going to include this one. Let's get rid of that one. Because that's not on the outside of the shape, is it? So I'm not going to include that one. And we're not going to include these because they're on the outside. They're not on the outside of the shape. We're only including the ones that are on the tidy little bit. We're only including the ones that are on the outside of the shape. So how many lines do we have? on the outside of the shape. Pause the video and have a count. Okay, let's count them, let's mark them off as we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, so to work out the perimeter, I know that each of them is four centimetres long and I need 11 of them. So four times 11 is 44 centimetres. So the perimeter of my shape is 44 centimetres, not 60. Let's just have a double check and check that we've got 11. I'm going to use my pen again to help me. One, two, three. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Correct. So we're going to use the same skill now, and you're going to try the next question for me. So I've got a hexagon here, that's a shape with six sides, and it's a regular hexagon. So all the sides are the same length, and the length of one side is 80 centimetres. So each side has a length of 80 centimetres. I'm going to show you a shape. You're going to pause the video and see if you can work out the perimeter of the shape. Here you go. Okay. 
So here's the perimeter of my shape, and we're going to go the distance all the way around the outside. So the first thing I think I might do, because I can do this on my whiteboard, is just to cross out the shapes we don't need. Let's get rid of the, the sides we don't need. We only want the sides that go around the outside. So don't need this one. I just made that a bit flatter. I don't need this one. So I don't need those. I don't need those because they're not on the outside of my shape. I'm only looking for the outside. I don't need that one. It's not on the outside of my shape. And this one is not on the outside of my shape. So I don't need any of those sides. I do need the others. So the next job is let's see, let's let's count them. So our next job is to count them. That's going to help us to work out how many sides there are. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. 22. 22 sides. Let's just jot that down so we don't forget. 22 sides. So I need 80 centimetres and I need 80 centimetres 22 times. Now this might be a bit trickier to calculate. I could split it into chunks, couldn't I? I could say 80 centimetres. 10 times is 800 and I can do another 10 times so you say 80 centimeters 10 times is 800 and then I'm just left with two more so 80 centimeters 2 times is 160 so 80 800 add 800 Add 160. I could add those up. 800, add 800, add 160 would give me. Let's write that. I've got the zero. Let's put an equal sign in and work that out, shall we? Let's add these up. So, 0 and 0 and 0 is. is zero and zero and zero and six is six and eight and eight is nine and one more eight and eight is sixteen and one more is seventeen so the perimeter of my shape is 1760 centimeters 1760 centimeters which is 17.6 meters well done if you got that okay so now we're going to move on to looking at shapes within shapes and again when you only get a few measurements in a shape like this, in a problem like this, you need to think to yourself, where else do I get some clues about how I can find the other values? So this says, this shape is made up of a square and a rectangle. Now the fact that we're being told that it's made up of a square is a big, big clue. And it's made up of a rectangle is also a big clue, but the square is your biggest clue. It says, what is the perimeter of the whole shape? Well, here is my square. And we already know that a square has sides that are the same length. So the sides of my square must be five centimetres. That's the sides of my square, five centimetres. Now, I'm going to hang on to that for a moment because it also means I don't need this measurement, but it also means I know that this line here is also five centimetres. I've changed the colour of that text because 
yes, that gap is five centimetres, but it's not round the outside. So it's not a measurement that I need. But I do have a rectangle here. And if this side of my rectangle is five centimetres long, we also know that this side of my rectangle is five centimetres long. So knowing one length of that, one side of that square has helped me to work out this value here that was missing. Now, before I can find the perimeter, I need to check that I've got a measurement on each of these sides. And I've got a side here missing. This bit here doesn't have a measurement on it. But I know, let's put my highlighter pen to show you. I know that this, oops, is a rectangle. And if this is a rectangle, I also know that this side here is the same length as this one here. So I also know that this one, this side here is 12 centimetres long. Now, can I work out the perimeter of the whole shape? I probably can now. But of course, I've got to be very careful now because I don't want to miss any values. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to count up the five centimetres that I need. Let's just cross that one out because I don't need it. And let's count up. That's one, two, three, four. Lots of five centimetres. So I can say five centimetres times four equals 20 centimetres. Of course, I could say five, add five, add five, add five. But multiplying by four is a quicker, more efficient method. And then I'm left with this shape here. I'm left with my 12 and my 12 here. So I can add those up as well. And this time I probably could add them. 12 centimetres, add 12 centimetres equals 24 centimetres. So the perimeter of my whole shape is 20 centimetres added to 24 centimetres. And that means the perimeter of my whole shape was 44 centimetres. OK, you're going to use this to help you to try and answer a question of your own now. So in a minute, I'm going to let you pause the video and have a go at it and then we'll do it together. Here it comes. OK, so let's read carefully. I see the word rectangle and I see the word square. So there's some clues there because there was no measurements on here at all. So and it's read carefully. The length of the rectangle is double the length of one side of the square. So the length of my rectangle is double the length of the side of one square. The square has a perimeter of 36 centimetres. So what's the perimeter of the whole shape? So if my square has a perimeter of 36 centimetres and there are four sides, to find out one side I'm going to have to take my 36 centimetres and split it into four bits. And 36 divided by four is nine centimetres. So I now know that one side of my square is nine centimetres. Now, that also means that this one is nine centimetres. Let's do some copying. This one is nine centimetres here. And here, we've got nine centimetres here. And here, that length there is also... Ah, let's push it one so put this in. We don't need it. I'm going to change the colour of it because it's not going to help me with my perimeter. But I do know that that distance there is nine and it tells me up here the length of the rectangle is double the length of one side. So if that's nine, that also means that that side is nine and I definitely need that one. OK, so that's 18 there. That's 18 there. So up here. I can say that the length of this side is 18. Now 
okay now looking here i can see that these are double as well so on this side i'm going to have some more nines okay so let's see how many nines have i got a length on each we've got a value on each of the sides i have let's count them up are we ready one two three four five six so that means i've got nine centimeters whoops nine centimeters times six which equals 54 centimeters and then i've got another 18 centimeters so i've got my 54 centimeters added to 18 centimeters which comes to 72 centimeters so the perimeter of my shape was 72 centimeters well done if you got that okay so the next few slides now are for you to have a go at so what i'm going to suggest you do is pause the video and have a go at each one and i will roll through them and then we'll go back and check them the the activities get a little bit harder each time so if you see a d in the corner that's a fairly straightforward activity if you see an e that means it might be a bit of a challenge but you should be able to have a go at it and if you see a gd that means that's a really super tricky one so don't worry if you struggle with the gd questions so i'm going to roll through them you pause the video and have a go and then we'll go through the answers Okay, so let's look at the first few. This shape has been made using identical squares, and that's your clue. Identical squares. One square has a perimeter of 28 centimetres. What is the perimeter of the whole shape? I'm hoping, it's got a big rubber. I'm hoping you were able to identify that it, to find the perimeter, find the length of one side, you had to do 28 divided by 4, and that gave us 7. And then we needed to count up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve sides. And there's our answer. Similarly, here it says they use an identical squares, and the perimeter of the square is 24 centimeters. So I'm hoping that you're able to do 24 divided by 4 gives you 6 centimeters, and there were 14 edges to the shape. This is a little bit similar, it says, because I can see the phrase identical squares. Let's make that a bit bigger. Identical squares, and that's our clue, isn't it? I can see it there as well. Look, identical squares. So it says this shape is made using identical squares. One square has a perimeter of 18 centimetres. Now that was a little bit trickier because 18 divided by 4 is going to leave you with a bit of a fraction. And that was your challenge for this one. So I'm hoping you worked out that 18 divided by 4 is 4.5. And then you needed 16 lots of 4.5. Well done if you got that. And similarly, when you divided your 22 by 4, it would give you a half a fraction so you did 22 divided by 4 which would be 5.5 and then there were 16 of those 88 centimeters and these aren't squares these are hexagons and octagons but the clue is still there look it still says identical regular oops hexagons identical regular hexagons it's still there look if we tidy that up a bit identical regular hexagons it's still there look and on this side it says identical regular ox oxygens that means all the sides are the same length now it says one octagon has a perimeter of 21 centimeters now i know that 21 is not in the six times table it's not a multiple of six so there must be 
a half somewhere. And 21 divided by 6 will give you 3 and a half. And 3 and a half times 18 will give you 63 centimetres. Now it says, what's the perimeter of the shape in whole metres? So in the whole shape in metres. So I'm hoping you worked out that it was 0 0.63 metres. And similarly for this one. So 36 divided by 8 is 4.5. 4.5 times 26 is 117, and 117 centimetres is equivalent to 1.17 metres. That was a tricky challenge. Really well done if you got that one. Okay, we've got a word problem here, so we better read it carefully. It says, Mr Barnes is digging a new allotment. He needs to be, it needs to be the following shape and size. So it needs to be a rectangle, and it needs to have a perimeter of 42 centimetres. Now it says here what could the length of each side be. Could is a modal verb, isn't it? Shows possibility. It shows there's more than one answer to this. So here's a suggestion. It says we've got various answers. For example, it could be 16 and 16, 5 and 5. It's any four, any two pairs of numbers that when you double them, come to 42 so it could have been it could have even been something as simple as one there one there gives me my two 20 oops 20 there and 20 there and when I add them together it gives me 42 could be any possible answer and similarly here we've got a council building a new playground and it needs to be that shape a rectangle shape and it needs to have a perimeter of 38 metres. And again, it says what could the length be. So there's our modal verb. So it's telling us there are different possibilities. And here's an example. 15 add 4 add 15 add 4. Well done if you got that. We've got a similar thing going on here. Again, I see that, that modal verb in there. What could the length be? What could the length be? So that's given us possibilities and here's a suggestion. It says answers, for example, various answers and I've got 20 and 20, 10.5 and 10.5. And the same again here. I need my half to get my odd number because I've got an odd number here in the answer and that's what I need my 0.54 to give me my odd number. And the same again, but this time it's telling you, it's giving you a little bit of extra challenge. What could the length of each side be in metres? It also says all four sides are half metres, so it's 0.5 half metres. So various answers again, but here's a suggestion. So it could have been 39.5, 23.5 and then doubled. And the same here. This has got to be 131, 134. What could it be? And here's a suggestion with decimals, with 0.5 as our answer. That was the trickiest one for today. So really well done if you got that. I'm hoping that we've got our hang, we've got, we've got the hang of finding the perimeter of regular polygons where the sides are the same length. Tomorrow we're going to have a look at rectilinear compound shapes.